Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be playing Super Doom Spire. Uh, I'm in, right in the lobby right now. And let's just get right into it. Alright, as this next round starts, I want to show you guys some cool little tricks you can do. Especially when getting into the round. So, you see this guy right here? Yeah, he can help you get back into a game uh, for 25 of these coins whenever you uh, get out. We can use him for another reason though. If we walk into him as soon as the round is starting and move a little bit from side to side, you can actually have the option to switch teams when the round has already started. All right, I came in a bit late, but we'll make up for it. We got this. So what I like to do is I like to come down here and I like to destroy the bottom of their base so that the top of it falls to the ground. Or in this case, galaxy. Ah, or me. Yeah, might want to be careful. Um, yeah, un unlike, unlike me, yeah. <laughs> Oh, so close. Almost got him. Oh, he got me. Green wins. Not that I really contributed at all. <laughs> yeah, we'll just say that I did. All right. So a little trick for you guys. I use this to get into the round because I came in late and wasn't put into the round, right? So... I paid 25 crowns, it's the currency in this game, for basically a pass back into the game. But there is a way to change your team. See, I figured out that if you don't get on the team you want, I have a little solution. So what you can do is when the round starts, which it will in a second here, you can run into this door just before it starts. See, starting soon, and it'll give you the option to uh, pay 25 crowns to be placed on a random team. This is supposed to be for people who are out of the game, but I can click yes, and the random team it chose for me was red, the team I was already on. But, well, it is random, so, you know, 50% chance. Alright, I'm just going to want to get to the bottom of this build. For a quicker way to get to the bottom, make sure to stay tuned. Oh, oh, don't get in the lava! Yes! Oh! It's not really a win, but it, it kind of is, because I didn't fall in the lava. Right? I think so, I think so. This guy's just not doing anything. Oh! Oh, my. So, thankfully the lava does not kill you, but um, it does let you on fire, and if you're not careful, that will kill you. Luckily in this game, you do regenerate health slowly at a time. Oh my gosh, I almost fell there. And from the looks of it, we don't need to be here anymore. Or anywhere? Let's just stay here and take down the building. And the spawns. So people can spawn on these little platforms, so we got to get rid, as, rid of as many of them as we can. Because if we do, the other team basically loses. If both teams have no spawns, then uh, it starts deathmatch. Alright, we have no spawns left. Now we got to be really careful. The other team sees a target on me now that's red colored, because I'm red team. So, I gotta be careful to be quick. Because they know where I am, so I can't be sneaky. Like, literally, it's through all objects that they can see the target on me. Now, me and my team cannot see the targets on us, because that could be seen as an advantage. Oh boy, I just died. <laughs> Oh, 
Yay, GG blue team. I'll click my uh, GG emote. If you need some quick money in this game, and people don't decide to kill you. Oh boy, this might be the end of me. Oof, killed in the lobby. All right, well, as I was saying, if you need a little bit of quick money, there are chests placed around the lobby like this, and they can give you money. Uh, I think it's like about 150, 200 crowns, which isn't too much. Voting infection, I haven't showed you that yet. All right, two teams it is. If you want, you can vote on a map too, but I honestly don't really care. For this time, I'll vote ruins. Looks like Ocean is the winner. It's unanimous. All right, this is a bomb jump. You place a bomb at your feet that is your bomb so it doesn't hurt you, and you use it to propel yourself through the air to get to the bottom of the enemy's base or the side of it where you can break in. It's great for getting a quick start on the game and can really help your team. So I'm just going to knock out the bottom of this. Something else that a lot of people seem to not know is that even if you knock all of this out, it still won't fall. You actually have to get it disconnected from the bridge and these immovable bricks up top. Uh, as well as getting it from the bottom too. So I can shoot at these with my rocket launcher and take this down with my square bomb. And yes, even though he killed me, his base will soon be gone. Let's head back over to the one we were just working on to finish some things up. As you can see, each tool has a cooldown for its special ability, even the bridge trial. So that's just to prevent spamming and people easily winning the game, of course. Oh no. We have no spawns left. Oh my gosh, and I'm out! Uh, I'll show you around where I win. Probably. <laughs> Next time, I'll try a little bit harder. <laughs> so, if you guys did not know what to spend your crowns on, there's a shop right here. So in the shop, there are daily items uh, that restock every hour. So not sure why they call them daily items, but yeah. There's all these uh, cool stickers, a bunch of weapons, and a little tip while you, when you're um, buying weapons and tools from here is you see this glow blade five stars, you're like, oh, that's such a good sword. This is actually just the default sword skin, and it costs 25,000 crowns. That'd be a lot of money wasted. So make sure that if you buy this or something like it, you're just buying for looks which I do not enjoy doing, which is why I have the Lunar Blaster. It's not a sword, of course, but it is a tool. The Lunar Blaster, in my opinion, is the best rocket launcher in the game. But that's just me. If you ever want to play this game, I will put the link in the, uh, down in the description. Oh, I'm blue team. What was I thinking? Well, great, my team carried me. Let's finish this up. Sure nobody's getting up to any shenanigans. Blue wins. GG everyone. 
Uh, there we go. GG. If you didn't know, while you're playing in a round, if someone shoots a rocket at you, you can actually hit it back with your sword. Every time you hit it, it'll deal more damage, so be careful. And it'll move faster. If we were playing on a round, he would have just lost. And I would have just lost there. Oh boy. Uh, infection. Wonder if we'll get to play deathmatch. There we go. It's so slow, I don't know how you would ever get hit by that. Unless you didn't see it. Sneak around the edge of this. Check for any windows. Okay, found my entrance. Oh, wow. This is like, I've never seen this before. This is cool. I mean, it's going to be like extremely easy to take down. And honestly, I'm sure my one team member just fighting that guy has got something as easy as this. I mean, literally, look at the structure. On the contrary, though, it could be really hard to take down because you have to get each individual pillar, which takes up a cooldown amount of time. Interesting. So a weaker weapon could actually be more useful in this uh, scenario because usually weaker weapons have a shorter cooldown. Oh, my. That should be it. Oh no, it's just barely connected. No! Oh, it's hanging on by a thread! We gotta get back! That's the one. Oh my gosh! Is that the same guy? Goodness. This is terrifying. Oh, I just realized that that's where I wanted to be. What? Am I blind today? Yeah, I think I am. Oh, yes. Okay, that was very close. I have no spawns left. And that's, that's a wrap. <laughs> I'll spectate the rest for you guys if you want to see. So, yeah, uh, if, if you can see, it looks like there's a green sniper uh, sitting on here. Firing at both green team buildings. Why is he doing that? Oh, he's firing at people on the green buildings. Makes more sense. And green team wins! GG to them! They earned it. Oh, they laugh at us. <laughs> Let's see if anyone wants to play tennis. Nobody wants to play tennis. Nobody. Alright, well, uh... <laughs> Wah, wah, wah. Vote for a game mode. Deathmatch. Ah, no one ever votes for deathmatch. Okay, two teams. Uh, let's do Galaxy. Yeah. Well, I'm glad everyone agrees with me. I'm gonna set a bomb right here. Oh. Yeah, that didn't that didn't um go how I planned. Random man floating through the air says hi. I say hi to him and back. Ah, uh, the beautiful galaxy of space. Boom. Die towers! Die! Is that it? Oh! No, 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 no. We need this. Get it. Oh! Is the top cut off? No, it's not. This is never gonna fall. See, so he, this guy right here, he doesn't realize that, so he's gonna keep shooting. And it's disconnected. Oh! He fired it back at me! Did not see that coming. So this one is not disconnected. 
quite yet. See that guy? One of these guys. They, they know. Yeah. I'm so glad they do, because it's a little bit disappointing when nobody nobody knows. Like, when somebody doesn't know, it's like, well, there's always somebody who doesn't know. When everyone doesn't know, it's like, oh, I've already lost. Let's get this off of here. Let's go. <laughs> Woohoo! And blue team's here. They did not like what we just did. <laughs> oh. So once you collect stickers, you can go into your items, stickers. Uh, you can, for example, just click the sticker that you want to equip, put it on your spray, which you use T and point with your mouse to place the sticker somewhere on the map. And you have these four, which are controlled by the keys, uh, V, C, X, and Z one being Z and four being V. And the sticker, when you get KO'd, looks like we're gonna finish off with infection. So let's go. It might seem a little bit weird to break all the windows, but actually doing that gives you bricks and you need bricks to build. If you don't have bricks to build, good luck surviving the zombies. <laughs> There's also those little crates full of bricks that you can use. But only one person can get them as far as I know. So it's not the most reliable source of bricks. I'm gonna try and trick the zombies. All right, so I'm gonna put this right here. And I'm going to create a little room for myself. It doesn't look super convincing, or really at all. But um, if you were new to the game, you wouldn't even know what it looks like anyways. So it's perfect. So during zombie apocalypse, never exit the building. Fire from the building because you only get one life. The zombies just respawn. The round starts with two zombies and everyone else as red. Also, you can throw the bomb through blocks just like this. So like imagine a zombie was standing there. See all the red people down there? Kind of just bound to get killed by the zombies because the zombie base right over there. Uh oh. Okay, let's just get inside. And for that matter, block off the entrances. Yeah, just to be safe. 14 seconds left. I think that if we really fortify our um, where we are right now, we could still win this. Uh oh, I've run out of bricks. Oh, and the zombies are here. <gasps> oh! Phew. Okay, uh, thank goodness that they, um, were not there. Yeah. <laughs> it's probably going to be all for today. Uh, thank you so much for watching my video. Make sure to leave a like, uh, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.